Hey friends, I made my first 10X stock through Tesla, and I believe this business has the next potential to be the next big battery player. Now the global valued market size of batteries was valued at around 105 billion US dollars in 2022. And that's expected to compound at a growth rate of around 15.4% from 2023 to 2028. So you can just see how big this market can potentially be. So here's how we're gonna capture this market share. And that's through a little or not so little company called Innovix. Now, if you guys enjoy more obscure stocks such as Innovix, make sure to drop a like and and leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on certain stocks that you're looking into. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I have three other small cap stocks that I believe have huge upside. Now, Innovix ticker ENVX is a revolutionary technology battery maker. This company is solving a huge problem in the space. So what's interesting is a 3D silicon lithium ion battery design. Now, Innovix has developed a lithium ion battery that incorporates a 3D silicon architecture. And this design allows for a higher energy density compared to a traditional lithium ion battery. So this higher energy density means the battery can store more energy in the same physical space, leading to a longer battery life. And this 3D silicon design enables greater energy storage capacity, providing devices with more power and longer usage between charges. And this is a significant advantage in applications where battery life is crucial, such as your smartphones, wearables, electric vehicles, and many, many more. Now, another benefit is around safety features, which Innovix's design is solving a massive problem. When comparing this to traditional lithium ion batteries, there's a big problem for short circuiting and thermal throttling, which can help induce fires, which is not what we want from an overall design of a battery. And this is where Innovix comes in and overall it satisfies this particular problem, which is obviously revolutionary in technology. Now, other benefits include the compatibility and scalability of Innovix's batteries, which are designed to be more compatible with existing lithium ion battery manufacturing infrastructures, which could make their adoption so much smoother for various industries. And additionally, the technology has the potential to scale to much larger applications like electric vehicles, which could be a huge revenue driver for Innovix. And not only that, you have the potential for thinner devices due to this higher energy density of the batteries themselves. And manufacturers may be able to design much thinner devices without compromising on battery life or performance. So these can be massive for Innovix and the scalability is going to be huge if they can get this technology correct, which currently is looking very strong. Now, finally, the last benefit around Innovix's battery technology is around the environmental factors, which is a huge concern and a big topic in the current business climate. So we can see that due to the higher energy density, because the batteries are so much longer lasting, there's less need to replace these batteries, which reduces waste, of course. Less waste means more environmentally friendly, and that is what Innovix can provide with their new technology. Now, everything runs on batteries, and the technology for Innovix is currently there. The design is so much more efficient than the traditional batteries as we know, but the biggest thing is going to be around production capability. When looking at the quarterly earnings now, there were some fantastic and great big nuggets of information in there which we're going to pick apart and i'm going to demonstrate why this business has great potential and why i'm a potential shareholder of this company and this is down to the manufacturing capability now in q2 2023 innovix took some important steps during the quarter to prepare for that high volume production in malaysia next year in may over 20 process products and equipment engineers will work at that fab 2 factory in penang they arrived on the Fremont train in Fab 1 to get an understanding of the procedures and how everything runs. So when they come into that Fab 2 site, there's going to be huge scalability of this particular factory. Now, moving down to commercialization now, they made progress during the quarter, which was advancing their customer qualifications and picking up this new engagement. Not only that, the bottom end of their funnel was closest to revenue and their active design and design wins increased quarter over quarter by $737 million, which was from $718 million in Q1 in 2023. And we can obviously see the overall revenue funnel increase 9% to $1.59 billion from $1.4 billion due to the overall customer opportunities, 
growing 14% to that 121 from 106 quarter over quarter. Now, moving over to the technology and products, it's vital that Innovix are constantly innovating and ensuring their products are getting better and better. Once we get this scalability, we need to have the technology in place and ensuring that we are constantly innovating at the highest level. And during the nuggets of information that they provided, this was around the internet of things and the potential for smaller items which will be able to use Innovix's battery effectively, which is fantastic news for us as shareholders. This means they're scaling at a nice pace and the technology and the product information and innovation is there right now. Now, looking at the outlook now, Innovix is forecasting production of approximately 36,000 units based on their continued operational improvements. They're executing very nicely right now, and this is summed up in the numbers. Not only this, they've also made strong progress in the second quarter as their Fab One factory has outperformed their expectations while their plans for higher volume production in Malaysia next year remain very much on track. Not only this, the customer interest is in their products remain robust and this is highlighted by the progress with the US Army collaborations on smartphones with the leading OEMs such as Xiaomi, Vivo and Lenovo. So they've already got this production and pipeline in place for the potential scalability of 2023 and into 2024. So we can see the execution of this company is very strong right now. They're delivering well in the technology area and the production area, which is why I think this business could be a fantastic win for us. However, we need to take a look at the stock chart now because this name is a very volatile name. It's gone from $22 back down to $13.5 just over the last four or five weeks now. When summarizing Innovix now, make sure that you understand this is a speculative position. It's a volatile name due to it being a pre-profit and a pre-revenue business. You need to understand that this business has huge potential and the technology and the production capabilities is getting there right now. When we compare it to QuantumScape, they're having a huge problem in producing that batteries at scale, which is why I think Innovix has such a better competitive advantage in this particular area. However, there are many other factors to consider when buying this company and ensure you understand what you own. You need to understand around the commercialization, the pipeline of just how they're going to drive this revenue and ensure that these factors are known to you very much down to a T. So how I see this business and I think how you should see this business is that if they don't execute, this stock will be going to zero. It's imperative that you understand the risks with this particular stock because if they execute to what I can expect, they may be a $130 to a $300 stock, depending on just how much market share they can take, the commercialization and the pipeline, which can scale massively. Once they have their technology right, which looks very good right now, and that production capability follows, we can expect this business to be and put up big numbers. So if you're expecting this to be a quick turnaround, I would recommend not investing in this stock. This is a stock that could take years to play out, but it could also set you up for life depending on the potential scale of this stock. Now, now, if you guys enjoyed more content like this, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And like I mentioned, I've got three other obscure stocks that I believe have huge upside potential. I also created a video of how I made my first £100,000, which you can check up up here. So make sure to check it out if you haven't already. I give all tips and tricks on how to get to that £100,000 as fast as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next one.